now we'll see the practical session of temperature controller using pid by using pid controller how can we control the temperature that we'll see so to do that one we have this setup this is the kit we are going to use for temperature controller pid and uh, lights to increase the temperature and to cool the temperature we are using a fan so this is the total setup we are going to use to study the pid controller that is applied for the temperature control okay so first you can see here here three types of controllers are there proportional integral and differential so here we can con consider individual controller individual p controller and p and i controller p d controller finally combination of proportional integral and differential controller that is p i d controller okay so first we'll consider only proportional controller by using proportional controller p i con now we'll consider first set that is proportional controller only p controller so if you switch on the supply you can see the display now here you can see two temperatures ad represents actual temperature that is this room temperature and st represent set temperature this is your wish you can set this set temperature that should be above the 80 so here 80 is 27.5 now i am setting set temperature by using this set temperature now so 80 is 27.7 have considered set temperature as 42 okay so now we'll use only proportional con controller for that one first this switch one here three switches are there switch one should be in on off mode switch two normal mode switch three test mode now if you are using kp proportional controller first you should set this kb so if you want to set this kp use this switch one keep this in pid mode now the actual temperature is 27 around and the set temperature is 42 now see the switches s1 should be on off mode s2 normal s3 test if you want to use kp keep this switch in pid and mode check then you can see kp ki values here so as i told you in the theory kp value should be greater than 180 and less than 200 so by using this kp knob set that kp value between 180 and 200 so 195 you have taken and ki should be zero and also kd should be zero again shift this switch to normal mode switch one to on off mode then you can see actual display that consists of ad as well at and st now start the experiment before starting that what we have to note down here here if you start this button automatically the temperature will get increased here okay now the actual temperature is 27 now we have settled the temperature value is 40 to 41 now the load temperature is 28 now 
the p controller will increase the temperature from 27 to 41 now we have to note down how much time the controller is taking to increase the temperature value from 27 to 40 so to note down that we have to consider this table here you can see kp value should be between 180 and 200 ki is 0 and kd is 0 these three values already we have taken here now for every 5 seconds we have to note down the value of this temperature how it is increasing and to reach the set temperature how much time the controller is taking that we have to note down okay so before taking these values we have to start the experiment here if you press this start button here you can see the light is glowing and the temperature is increasing here you can see AT temperature is increased from 27 to 28. we have to note down the values like this for every 5 seconds we have to take the readings now observe the display the AT is getting increased so the light is off now now you can observe that the set temperature is achieved now okay so to cool down this temperature again we have to turn on the fan by using this fan the temperature of the load will be reduced to the actual temperature this is pi Okay, you can see in the display that actual temperature came to the room temperature by using this fan. Now you can switch off the fan. The fan is used to reduce the temperature. Now you can see the table. This is a table we got and to reach set temperature it has taken 60 seconds by using P controller. Now we will consider the same table time versus temperature by using PI controller. So keep the switch 1 in PID and switch 2 in mode check. So KP keep it as it is. Now by using KI knob. it should be less than 20 ki value so 15 okay 18 is there now again use on off mode normal and set temperature is again same 41.1 only previous also it was same by using pi controller again we have to see to reach set temperature how much time it is taking so we have to do the same you start button and for every 5 seconds note down this temperature So 29, 29.4, 30.3, 30.8, so the 80 is increasing.
it is almost reaching set temperature so 41.1 you can observe that okay so to reach that temperature almost it is taking 50 seconds now you can observe the difference between these two tables if you use only proportional controller it is taking 60 seconds to reach the set temperature but if you use proportional and integral controller it is taking only 50 seconds to reach the temperature so again to to go to cool down the temperature of the load we are using fan so you can observe in the display if you use a fan the temperature will get reduced yeah 43 to 42.9 42.6 we have to wait until the temperature reaches room temperature okay so the temperature came to room temperature that is 28.6 now you can turn off the fan so you can observe the table now we'll use pd controller proportional and differential controller for that one again use switch 1 in PID mode switch 2 in mode check KI should be 0 why because we are not using integral here use KD and again it should be less than 15 from 0 to 15 you can set any one value okay so kp is 196 kd is 8 so we are using pd controller to control the temperature of this load for that one again use the switch 2 in normal switch 1 in on off mode again by using the start button the temperature will get increased by using this pd controller to know that one again we have to use the table for every 5 seconds we note down the temperature how it is getting increased to reach the set temperature how much time it is taking we have to take in the table so start button and you can see the load and in the display you can clearly get the AT is getting increased so for every 5 seconds we have to note down temperature value 29.2 29.7 30.3 like this we have to take the time until it reaches the set temperature okay so in the display you can see the actual temperature is 28 around now you can turn off the fan so we can observe from the table that PD controller is also taking almost 50 seconds to reach the set temperature. Okay. Now we will consider PID controller combination of 3. Okay, again use switch 1 in PID mode, switch 2 in mode check and we have to use P, I and D all should be greater than 0. So use some K, I value. Okay, 10. Okay, now switch 1 in on off mode. Switch 2 in normal mode. Again start the procedure. Note on the values of temperature for every 5 seconds. So it is getting increased 
so you can observe it is increasing very fast with compared to previous three methods 38.9, 39 40, 40 so, थर्टी एट पॉइंट नाइन थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट थ्री फोर्टी फोर्टी पॉइंट नाइन फोर्टी वन पॉइंट वन सो सेट टेम्परेचर इज रिच नाउ it is off you can see now use the switch 3 in test mode turn on the fan to cool the load okay so here you can observe from the table to reach the set temperature that is 41 it is taking 40 seconds only so now if you observe the full table here this is p controller it is taking almost 60 seconds pi and pd controller both are taking almost 50 seconds to reach the set temperature but by using pid controller it is taking only 40 seconds to reach the set temperature so in this manner we can study the performance of pid controller to control the temperature of this load